It's your boy and I'm back again, yet with another in-hand review. So we've got the Jordan 4 Retrobred Reimagined. So this shoe was rumored to have, a, I think, a very high volume. I think up to 500,000. So it is true. I went to the store today and the shoes are available. They were not available in bigger sizes, just in smaller sizes. However, I think this shoe is going to be a good investment long term. And I'll tell you why. So the uh, previous Jordan breads that were released were, was back in 2019. That was five years ago, right? And this is the new one that's come out. So it shows us in that five year gap. I know the volume is quite high. So usually what happens is people just buy them and just wear them. And then the volume drops. And as we know, the lower the volume, that means the price is going to go up. So if you've got extra spare change and you can invest in these shoes, I know they're not cheap. We're talking 200 pounds, which is a lot of money. As you guys know, if you don't, I'm surprised that the UK is in recession. So enough waffling, guys. As you guys can see, you've got the leather, which is strange for a Jordan 4, because usually you do have you know a mixture of materials. This has just been plastered in leather. And then you've got just, you know, your upper layers in black. Then you've got the gray on the midsole, as well as on the side of the laces. Then you've got, you know, bits on the front that are red. Then uh, the midsole of the back there is finished off in that white and that red as well. I do like how the inside, inside tongue is red. Kind of been talked today to save my life. And then you've also got the gray as well on the inside. So it's that, you know, typical, like just black, red with a bit of gray as well. But the Gray is subtle, it's not overly, it's not overly uh, there. Then you've obviously got the wing logo on the back, which comes in that gray as well. In terms of the finish of the shoe, I do love the finish. Everything just feels decent quality. And it's one of those shoes that you wear in autumn slash winter. I wouldn't suggest that you wear this shoe in summertime because you're going to be boiling hot. And I like it. So what do you wear with the shoe? What what fit are you probably looking at? You, I can't even talk properly. What fit are you probably looking at? I'll probably say you can wear some cargo pants, some uh, tracks with bottoms or joggers. You can also wear some nice flared out distressed jeans or even like just some nice knit trousers with this as well. And you can wear like a nice knit top to match the knit trousers and then just break things off a little bit by wearing this shoe. But I do think this shoe is a safe investment in the future. Yeah, it's a it's a safe investment in the future. I definitely think so. So if you've got some spare change, you know, you've got a nice little thousand pounds, get yourself like four pairs. If you can afford to hold them, and then hold them for like a year, a year and a bit, then the price is gonna go up. I like them, they're different. As it says, reimagine. Guys, it's your boy. Thanks for watching. Comment down below what you think, and also subscribe to my channel as well. Much love. God bless. Appreciate you.